Yeah, I'm just happy. Uh, God definitely blessed us tonight. Uh, I prayed hard for this game to keep us strong, keep us mentally focused, and uh, he helped us tonight. Oh, yeah, we knew it was going to be a defensive battle from start to finish. That uh, We both got two great offenses, but we got, both got two amazing defenses, and we, uh, we knew it was going to come down to the wire. This is the biggest game of my career, and uh, I'm happy we came out on top. I don't know how I did it. Uh, I, was, I was on my man, but then I saw the tight end running free, and he was a deep route, so I knew they was going to try and take that shot, and so uh, I just went cover him, and uh, the ball got in my hands. Yeah, yeah, we, we, right now we control our own destiny, so uh, if we keep playing how we're playing, uh, hopefully we'll be in New Orleans. I mean, uh, I don't think I've ever been involved in a game like this. Uh, obviously, as an offense, we thought we'd want to do better, but, you know, that was a great defense we went up against tonight, but I think, uh, I think we kind of proved who has the best defense. You know, our defense just came out tonight. They made plays all night, and they, uh, they put us in a position to win. I just I can't say enough about this team and how much I love these guys, and, and everybody in here feels like my brothers, and everybody's got each other's back, and that's the best part. Yeah, you know, I think a lot of people expected these two defenses to show up and see what the offenses could do. And uh, like I said, we want to be better. But, you know, I think uh, I am proud of, our, uh, of, my, of my guys when, uh, when it was overtime, you know, and the game was on the line. They came, we, we came to play defense and offense. And I think that just says a lot about this team's character and a lot about this team's grit. You know, uh, that's what I said earlier. This is the first time since I've been here where I've controlled my own destiny in the West. And uh, it's a really, really special feeling. Uh, we got 24 hours to enjoy this one, and then we got to kind of put it past us, and we got to look forward to uh, finishing this season out, or this is going to be worth anything. Definitely got to give praise to God for letting us come out with that. And like you said, it lived up to the hype. It was a dog fighting game like we thought when we came out and fought hard and came out with the victory. Definitely, definitely when I broke that tackle, I thought I was in the end zone. You know, that's the only thing I seen was green was going to the end zone as fast as I could. Definitely winning on the road against Alabama number two team is a great, you know, <laughs> great thing for us. And, you know, just got We got to stay focused. You know, the road is not over. We got to go to practice and keep play humble and keep playing uh, hard. You know, definitely, you know, uh, our coach preaches, Coach McGay, you know, every week, you know, ever since the start of summer, start of spring. He's like, you know, there's going to be some games that's going to come down and kick and game. And, uh, you know, we took that in. And uh, we ran with it, you know, practice every game, every situation. We're always putting our mind, uh, you know, game winning kick, you know, punt backed up. You got to get it off like Brad did tonight, which uh, he bombed 72 yarder. It was amazing. And, um, you know, it was a team effort, though. I mean, yeah, special teams, you know, played big, but also offense and defense played big, too. You know, I uh, just kind of thought back to practice all week, you know, putting my mind in that mindset. And, uh, you know, it's just another kick. You got to go out there and execute it. And, uh, you know, snap and hold was great, and uh, you know I just kicked it and went went through uprights. You know, uh, to lead the West, that was a goal coming into this game. We want to lead the West, and uh, now that we're leading, you know, we want to now win out and go to the SEC championship, and then uh, hopefully a Natty. But you know, we're looking at uh, next game against Western Kentucky. That's our next uh, next opponent. And, you know, we'll prepare for them all week and uh, be ready to go next Saturday. Yeah, you know, every week special teams plays a role, and obviously this week we knew it was going to play a bigger role, you know, just as, uh, just as important as offense or defense. And we knew that coming into this game, and we knew they, they were great as well um, in their special teams. Um, so we, we, we really just uh, prepared like every other week. You know, we didn't want to go too off course and try and change things up too much. So, you know, me and Drew always mess around about making a game-winning kick, and I have all the faith in him in the world. You know, I, I prayed that it came down to Drew making the kick because I knew he'd make it from anywhere. Yeah, you know, I'm happy that I can just help the team, you know. Uh, whenever I do good, it, it reflects on the team. It gives a, the defense good field position and gives their offense bad field position. Um, so just to eliminate their return yards, you know, I have, I think I have the best uh, coverage team in, in, the, in the nation. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, it's just a great team effort. You know, I've always been involved in team sports back in Australia, playing Australian football, and I was very emotional, very passionate about it, and that hasn't changed here. It's, it's probably grown, you know. The uh, relationship all these guys have here, it's... It's something I've never seen before and never experienced. So, you know, just to be um, in just such a close group of guys, everyone has each other's back, it's great. It's really good.